how to edit desktop and mobile separately in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to um, do a little bit of editing in the uh, specific desktop version also the mobile version separately not in the same time in Squarespace. So we are going to head over to Squarespace, head over the account dashboard and then we are going to select our website. Once we have did that, we're going to click on go to website and wait for the editor to load up. As you can see here, we have the um, dashboard of the website. Basically, we can go ahead and have the control center at the left side of the screen. We can go ahead and select the page or the pages and then we can go ahead and click on edit. Now, when you click on edit here, it is going to be selecting automatically the desktop version or the desktop view. So if I am going to do something in this area, it is going to affect both of the mobile and also the desktop version. But if I click to the mobile view, I can go ahead and modify things or little things, few little things to be honest for the mobile version. I'm not going to see everything that we can have but I can go ahead and have, for example, a modification that will go through the desktop version. Also, if it is going to make an important modification, for example, for this button, you can see that it is going to be on the left side of the text or the left side of the section. If I am going to make it here to the middle and we're going to save that setting, if I go back to the desktop view, it is going to be still on the left side. Why? Because the modification that I have did on the mobile version was not that important. But if I am going to head over the mobile view and make an important, ver let's say here, an important modification, like having the text a little bit like this, and it is going to take up the place in the whole section, if I'm going to save that, go back to the desktop view, I can see that it is not going to be also that important. But in the mobile version, it is going to be something. Now, for adding a section, modifying a picture, or adding something else, it is going to be visible on the desktop version. So let's say that I want to have this text modified just like this and I'm going to save that. So we have introduced in one line, your brand in the second line. We go to the mobile view and we're going to see that nothing has changed. So this is the, um, let's say, the resume of how we can modify the, uh, let's say, different type of editing into the uh, modifiers here. So the more important that you're going to modify something, the more appearing it is going to be on the two versions. So maybe I'm going to let you see that it is going to be something that we can modify. So I can go ahead and add a section. For example, we have some limitation through the sections here, not that limitation, but we're going to go ahead and have here maybe an about page and I'm going to add this. So this is an editing and this is a modification. I'm going to save it, go to the desktop version and we're going to see that we have added this one here. So I'm going to make sure that the text is here. So as you can see, we can go ahead and modify the text that we have as much as we want and it is not going to interfere within the image. But here it is going to be made to be on the image just like that and here we have it so as you can see this is something cool and also maybe concerning a little bit if you're going to have a section half text and also half image so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one